Good morning. That's us, that's us now live. Please don't swear. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another Wednesday morning service. As usual, my thanks go out to everyone who is involved in getting the service to as many people as possible. And as usual, since I'm here, and I'm sure you can see it sitting there, this morning's service will include a short informal communion service. So, let's begin by stilling our hearts and our minds before our call to worship. <clears throat> we gather as God's people, bringing our fears and our pain, knowing that when our spirits have grown cold, God rekindles the gift of faith in us. We gather as God's people, hanging our broken hearts in the branches of the trees of life, knowing that while friends may turn against us, God transforms enemies into sisters and brothers. We gather as God's people, hungering for healing and hope, knowing that even when life is no picnic, God prepares a feast for us. Let's sing our opening hymn, hymn number 38, as we are gathered and we're going to sing it through twice. rid ourselves of what we need to carry no longer. Let's pray. Faithful God, we gather this morning in your presence. Those of us who come here often and those who have not been for a long time. Those who are full of faith and those who don't know what they believe. Those who can hardly keep from singing and those who can hardly bear the, and face the day. We gather because you have called us, because you love us, because you are our God. We gather not because we're good or pure or holy, but because of our need. We gather knowing that again and again we failed to live as you would have us live. That we have not loved one another, that we have not loved your creation, that we have not loved you, and that we have not loved ourselves. So forgive us God and renew us to be your people. Make us one and reassure us in your true identity as children of the one who is above all things. For this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our faithful and forgiving friend. And Lord of all, hear us now as we say together these words. Our and Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
begin to pay, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We turn to Scripture, and our reading this morning comes from Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 1 and reading from verse 6. Let's listen to the word of God. For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. So do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything that we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Saviour, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Amen. And thanks be to God for this, his holy word. Up until I was recently instructed to cut lots of stuff out of, that I really liked out of my diet, not that I'm still bitter about it, of course, but one of the things I really like is cheese. And one of my favourite cheeses is the Swiss cheese called Emmental. Do you know it? It's the, the <coughs> one that is famous for all the holes in it. And as I said, I love it. I love its creamy, nutty flavour and it's really nice melted on big crusty bread. And I am starting to get hungry again. <laughs> But it's also excellent when used for another purpose. So if you're like me, and you're really, really immature, because of the holes, you can use it as a mask and really annoy your wife. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the first few times I did it, she laughed. But after nearly 35 years of marriage, I think it's wearing that wee bit thin now. But you see, I just can't help myself because it's just a wee bit of fun. But as I reflected on the Bible passage today, it made me think about that word holy and being holy. Perhaps it was this diet that brought me eventually to cheese with holes, okay? But whatever it was, it made me wonder if it reflected how I sometimes see my ministry. Holy like the cheese or holy like the religion. It's genuinely offered, full of love, but so very imperfect at times. Holy, but not holy, if you get me. Because oh, how we long to live a holy life. A life set apart for God and characterised by being like Jesus. But day after day, at times, holiness seems so far out of reach. In its place, our holiness remains. In 2 Timothy, Paul writes to his protege, Timothy, urging him to live up to his holy calling. The Apostle then clarified that God has saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything that we've done, but because of his own purpose and his own grace. This life is possible not because of our character, but because of God's grace. And Paul continues, this grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. Can we accept God's grace and live from the platform of power it provides? Whether in parenting, marriage, work 
or loving our neighbour. God calls us to a holy life, made possible not because of our efforts to be perfect, but simply because of the grace of God. Amen. We're going to sing once again hymn number 237, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And I've been told there's no intro, it begins right away, so you can sing in voices on right through the stand. <laughs> this table, you who have much faith and you who would like to have more, you who have been here often and you who have not been for a while, you who have tried to follow Jesus and you who have failed, come, for it is Christ who invites us to meet him here. Let's pray. Loving God, through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer which earth has made and human hands have made. May we know your presence in the sharing of this bread so that we may know your touch in all bread and in all matter. We celebrate the life that Jesus has shared among his community through the centuries and shares with us now. Made one in Christ and one with each other. We offer these gifts and with them ourselves a single holy living sacrifice. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you all. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We offer you praise, Lord, and hearts lifted high, for in the communion of your love, Christ comes close to us, and we come close to Christ. Therefore, with the whole realm of nature around us, with earth, sea, and sky, we sing to you with the angels of light to envelop us, with all the saints before and beside us, 
with brothers and sisters east and west, we sing to you. And with our loved ones separate from us now, who yet in this mystery are close to us, we join in the song of your unending greatness. Earth are full of your glory. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is our brother Jesus, who walks with us the road of our world's suffering, and who is known to us in the breaking of bread. On the night of his arrest, Jesus took bread, and having blessed it, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body given to you. In the same way, he took wine, and having given thanks for it, he poured it out and gave the cup to the disciples, saying, This cup is a new relationship with God, sealed with my blood. Take this and share it. Hear us, so Christ, and breathe your spirit upon us, and upon this bread and wine. May they become for us your body, vibrant with your life, healing, renewing, and making us whole. And as the bread and wine which we will soon eat and drink are changed into us, may we be changed again into you, bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, loving and caring in the world. Amen. For he whose table was open to all is now present in this bread. And he who has worked welcome friend and stranger offers friendship through this cup. With people everywhere we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. The gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please let's now join together in sharing the meal of God. On the evening of the first Easter day, when the disciples were together behind locked doors for fear, yes, it is. on the evening of the first Easter day, when the disciples were together behind locked doors for fear, Jesus could, came and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he showed them his hands and his side. On seeing the Lord, the disciples were overjoyed. Jesus said again, Peace be with you. So in the joyful presence of our risen Lord, you may or you may not wish to shake hands, or you can smile and wave. 
but let's give one another a sign of peace. Loving God, in this sacrament we have shared in your eternal kingdom. May we who taste this mystery forever serve you in faith, hope and love. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Let's join together in our prayers for others. Let's pray. Dearest Lord, <coughs> Holy Lamb of God, Shepherd of the world, you lead us to respite and relief. You are our provider and sustainer and through your providence we will never want for your presence. You lead us to fields of plenty and you refresh our souls with the cool, clear, clear waters of your spirit. Holy Lamb of God, you are the Good Shepherd. We follow you, Lord, because we know your voice. We know that you will lead us through the valley of the shadow of death. You are yourself the gate. We can only come to the throne of grace through you. And you are truly with us. Emmanuel, God with us, so we will not fear evil, but be comforted. You came to give us life and give it to us abundantly. You have prepared your table for us and anoint us for service. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to devote ourselves to your good teachings, to worship, to fellowship and to prayer. We eat the food that you have given us, both spiritually and physically, and you nourish us. Holy Lamb of God, today we pray for our sisters and brothers, especially for those who suffer. We pray for the children, who, those who live in plenty, and those who, who live in want. We pray for all of those who live alone, the housebound and the aged. We pray for those who are absent from us, those who live far away or are stationed in far places and live in great danger, or those who are absent from us even though we share a house with them. We pray for those who grieve and mourn. We pray for those who are imprisoned by addiction or disease. Holy Lamb of God, help us to follow the example of Christ. He left his petitions in the hands of God, who always judges fairly. Help us to remember that he personally carried away our sins in his own body, so we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. Help us to rejoice that we have been healed by his wounds. Once we were wandering lost like sheep, but now we have turned to your shepherd, the guardian of our souls. And all we can say is thank you and pray that your goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. All of these things we pray in the name of your Son, the Holy Lamb of God. Amen. We're going to sing hymn number 31 and we're going to sing, I think we'll do it without music, Alison, if that's okay. We'll just sing uh, a cappella. And I'm sure we all know the tune. <coughs> Number 31. <coughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but Oh. 
go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing in the wonders he has shown you. And may he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. Thank you once again for coming this morning.